Hey, Elders, and it's time for episode one of our new Civ religious playthrough. Trying for that elusive religious victory. That's a plan, but as I said, the mods are in the description. We talked about the Civ already. Let's jump in and see what the start looks like. Good God. Okay, that looks pretty damn good, actually. All right, this is looking pretty good, actually. Um, we have a city on a hill, which gives us extra faith. We have uh, Lux 1, Lux 2 within 3. It's not terrible. Extra source of marble. Could be worse, we got camels. Um, all right, I mean, yeah, we can work this, I guess. So let's settle for sure. Rock and roll. Yeah, I need to move the woods. I, I would move here potentially, but again, it's just more ocean. I'd rather have more land, so I'm going to say right there. Ba-boom. The Beberhan is here. Now we're going to quickly grab a slinger first, because just inevitably we'll need it. Let me see the population. That's perfect. we will probably move to the copper, I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, let's explore a bit. Um, let's kind of go up this way. Looks like desert. And we have a new continent. Azania. Okay, yeah, but that's not the one for the policy. We need to discover a second continent. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Give me that for. Now, um, obviously the technology is a little different. You'll see um, a lot of the policies for great generals and great scientists coming here in tech. This is all a bunch of GFD's changes, and there's a bunch of things that have shifted a little bit, shifted locations. Um, so obviously we're going to be learning that a little bit as we go along to keep it interesting because like I said stuff that's redundant is redundant uh, Future tech tree is there You'll see how that shakes out. It'll be more interesting later But now the, the key is I want to start getting a holy site as soon as possible. This could be kind of a stretch But what I do want is to do this first now. There's an argument There is an argument for going pottery to get growth first, but we have decent stuff. I mean, this is all really good, mind you. But I need to drive this agenda. If we're going to try to go for a religious game, we need to do that. Now, importantly, very importantly, how are we going to go about trying to hit a religious game? Um, well, it's going to be relatively simple. Actually, not simple at all. <laughs> the goal one is the simple part. We need to get a religion early. That's so why I'm going to drive really hard to do that. Now, we got faith incoming, which is good. I think that's important. But um, we're going to need uh, proper amounts of, of faith early and great profit points in order to make sure we get that faith. So that'll be job one. As soon as we get a religion, we'll basically stop. Goody hut. We'll basically stop trying to spread our religion and we'll go and murder everyone but one and leave them as a tiny client state that we can convert later. See where I'm going with this? And then. In the end, once we can actually convert the rest of the cities, because they're ours to our religion, just gradually, because we can have inquisitors, um, once we own them. Ooh, a builder. Nice. That's actually really useful. Too bad I can't build anything. Oh, now it would be good to get mining, actually. Shit. I'll probably do that second. I think that would be still important to get astrology first. I need to be able to build holy sites. And I'll probably build down the hill here for extra faith. That is our thing, right? Yeah, okay. But uh, the point being, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So we have a little client state. We murder everyone else. Then we convert our cities as we're murdering everyone. So we can have inquisitors to do that. And then we can go and convert the final client state before we get a, a cultural victory and maybe then get a religious victory. So that's the plan. So rather than just fighting purely on the religious basis, we'll get a religion, get that locked in. Then we kill everyone mechanically. <laughs> and then we, uh, we try to get... Uh, that client state to be converted. So that's kind of the plan. Um, we'll see how it shakes out. You actually can't do anything useful right now. We'll see how it shakes out. That'll be about it. Um, not much else to say. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. I mean, religious victory is very hard to coordinate. Why am I going this way? I don't know. Let's just see what's in the jungle. Oh, more jungle. That's not going to be useful to explore. I'm just going to go west instead. <sighs> it's okay. Go west. A lot of jungle up here and a lot of desert there, so I think I want to expand this way. More fertile terrain. Uh, let's go this way then. Yep. Ooh, good guess. <laughs> Bastard. Now we do have rice here. 
Rice is good. This does give us a boost to farmer resource. Yeah, it does give us a boost to irrigation. That'll be useful. Divine Seer profit points return. We may need that also. Our, our great profits. <laughs> Confucius. Okay. Cons. Alright. This will be our first in there. Great theologians. Yeah, we'll try to get. We need 60 points. Now we're going to drive that really hard, I think. I'm going to drive that really hard and see if we can get it. So that would be a good thing to have also. But again, I really want the mining as well to build the holy sites. This is like, there's a, a lot of things we need to do. But we're going to have to kind of go like this. Oh, pottery first. Okay, that might be a little while. Fair. But let's go get the boost at least. Now get the monument to get the culture up in here. Okay, so that looks like one of the lakes, I suppose, in the map. Again, I've never done this map template either, so we'll see how this goes. Like I said, if, if we fail in this attempt, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's fine. Hi. Well, can I shoot you from here? This is this is EOC, right? It's a little annoying, but hopefully you won't be able to get too far away from me. Too far away from me. I'm going to farm that. Boom. Irrigation has been considerably boosted. I like. It's up here. Okay, so this is pretty defensible. Some mountains. Same Lux, though. There are additional Luxes and resources in this game, so, um, like I said, it is in the mods. Actually, there's silk here. So I'm thinking there's gonna have to be a city up around here somewhere. I want it with fresh water. Maybe we should explore east this way. I guess once we kill the scout. If we get to kill him. Good lord. And where's our citizenry doing? That's fine. Yeah. Then we'll probably go and work. Winter Togoth, really? Wow, you guys are shagging like crazy. The standard speed, I'm used to like, epic speed. Where'd you, you came from this way though. I think I'm gonna find your camp first, I'm gonna be clever. Be smart about this. Okay, that's a lake. Okay, so this is really well defended actually. This is a lake? Fresh water? Yeah, okay, so... Now, nah, but we can't really get it that silk efficiently. We have to get sent over here. I'm going to go just around here. Maybe that's a tiny lake or it's a giant one. I'm not sure. Um, I just realized I might have left my builder out to, to dry here. Let's <laughs> just circle him around. <laughs> that was so stupid. Well, I want him to come back, actually. Okay, he went this way. That's fine. Well, I'm going to try to catch him, head him off of the pass here. So I think he came from this way. I don't think his sight's anywhere else. Let's see what he does. We can play the, the builder bingo a little bit. I think I wants to play. Do you want to play, yay? Yep, fine. He's just hanging. Does he freak out? It's good. I want you to freak out. Okay, so we definitely get a city down here. That's perfect. So probably like right there, I think. That looks pretty good. Add attack. Wow, they improved this considerably, huh? <laughs> Nazca lines, dope. Repair. That's cool, man. I dig. Oh, this is so nice. I just haven't played Civ 6 in a while. Uh, this is cool. Never thinking of settling there. It's so pretty. I like it. Um, yeah, let's keep the production high. I know I can grow more. How much faster would it be to grow, actually? We wouldn't slow the monument down at all, really? Oh, we wouldn't. And we'd grow faster. We'll do it, man. Do that shit. Perfect. Just I want to see from ignorant shits like you. Come on, you know you want a piece. Okay, we're gonna go east a little bit because this is where we're gonna settle anyway. We'll, we'll shoot west to something else at some point. It's desert too. It's not even the most it fertile is ground. Wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Two faith for monuments. That's gonna be good too. Okay, we're gonna change policies. He has strength enough to protect all. What's well, not sufficiency to oppress all? Chiefdom. It's our beginning government. Again, thank you, JFD, for awesome mods. There we go. And that, I think, is what we're looking at. Conditions would be interesting. Ish. We're not buying tiles anytime. I mean, I could... Let me just see real quick. Yes, I want to close the menu. What I want is to see what we actually have in the potential build queue here. Because I honestly don't remember. 
what important things would be. I mean, early settlers probably what I want to do. If we make a faster scout, though, we can definitely see more of the map. Yeah, I, I'm almost thinking I want to. Alright, I'm going to go expeditions instead. Let's go that, let's go expeditions. If we get invaded by barbarians, I'm going to feel really stupid about that decision, but... That is a mountain. Okay, so we, we can't settle there. That was very ambitious of me. Uh, we might be able to get over there if there's another slot. Okay, Civic, what are we doing? We can actually get craftsmanship boosted, so that's fine. Foreign trade, what gets us to early empire? State ritual? 50% production of holy rights. Yeah, I want that. I'm head toward early empire. We'll do this first. That'll be the, the uh, priority. And build a monument. Perfect, so building that. Because I definitely want that holy site boost. And we want to hit, um... Oh, wait a minute. That's not the 50% faster settler policy. No, it's not. It's here now. Can capture defeated enemy civilization companies, convert them to builders, chattel slavery, dark policies. These can be used anytime, but minus one glory, which is the your era score now. From defeating civilization combat units. That's interesting. So powerful, but with a downside. Again, another JFD modification, which I think is really, really cool. Alright. Democracy, monarchy, and oligarchy. Neat. I mean, there's going to be a lot to learn here, but I think we'll be doing alright. So now we know the faster settlers are there. I mean, I'm, I need state ritual, then the state workforce. I mean, there's a lot of things you want early, but I think that's the priority we're going to go to. Because we'll be monument, tiles, and district. That'll be pretty much exactly what we need. And we're going to get mining after astrology. And pottery to irrigation. Yeah, okay. That works. You just hang for now, bro. And plan our early turns out so we have a quick start. That's going to be the key. You gave up, didn't you? Thank you. Now our tree knowledge, beautiful. Let's see if there's actually room to settle over here, because then we can actually get silk and still be on the river, I think. Alright, what can we do here? Um, two amenities and two housing if there's a holy site just into a river. Now we're going to have a lot of holy sites. And that could be useful, but I'm going to prioritize. I, mean, I could do it on this hill, technically. And then it would be both. So that's actually a thing we could do. Hmm. A good point. Very good point. Tundra, no. Uh, a lot there, but not for long. Great person points from holy sites, prophet, campuses, and theater squares. And that's always good, and especially if we want to get a religion early. That's going to be beyond necessary. Uh, eh. Pastures, we're not going to have that. I mean, we don't know if we have cows. Um, what's the improvement here? Probably camp, actually, so no. Not only one pasture, it's not going to be too useful. Could be good from camps, so I mean, we, we probably have some camels. No, I just have the one. Alright, they're not that exciting. And there could be more, but I don't see any. Stone circles from quarries, don't see any stone, really. We have marble quarries. We'll have two. That's worth, like, four faith. Lux and bonus resources for mines, so that'll be two there. That'll be quarries, though, so not seeing too much there right now. Uh, classical military units, plantations, so one plantation, maybe two. So there's no real, like, definitely this one kind of a uh, thing. And chosen to be a builder, city growth is 10% higher. Okay. So settler. Border expansion rate is 50% faster. Wow. You receive a settler in your capital with religious settlements? Damn, son. That pretty good. Plus two faith and tiles with breathtaking appeal. Okay. Is that you? Are you breathtaking? You're charming. How are you not breathtaking? You should be breathtaking. Yeah, there you go. And geothermal fish oilers and volcanic soil. So, I think it's between religious settlements, because that's going to help us expand hard. Or... Divine Spark. Because we'll desperately need a religion for this game. I'm going to double down and make sure that we get a religion. So I'm going to found the Divine Spark Pantheon. 
and we'll get um, plus one great person sites from uh, our holy sites. That'll be the idea. So as soon as we finish this, we're gonna go holy site. Okay. Might kick out a scout before then. We're expanding to anyway. Fortress is that a hill? No, it's not. Now I could arguably buy that and build a holy site there. So we have this for just a mine, and we still have two food. So early on, we'll need the food. I might want to do that. Okay. Step by step. Sorry, the early planning is very important, and uh, I know it's meant to be the most exciting thing, but it is very, very critical for us to get it right. Okay, so Muscat is there. So we're the first one to meet Muscat. I think. Where are we? There we go. Muscat, yes. We need the first ones. They want Trina Spearman, which I can. Um. Swing gold in the capital. Nice. That's going to help us out a lot. I love commercial city states. And we still can't settle there to get the silk where we want it to. Now we could settle here. We could. That's going to overlap pretty hard with David Berhan. It's going to overlap a lot. We have floodplains here. That's not too bad. Um. Hmm. And this is very well defended. I just want to see what's further east. You'll go northeast. I definitely want a scout unit after this, I think. How fast are you building now? Wait, don't I have that policy that makes you build faster? What the fuck. You're gonna be 20 twice as fast. It was 5 before, now it's 5 again? Seriously? That's kind of shit. A terrible policy. <laughs> it doesn't do anything, and we want it to. Alright, that's fair, I guess. I mean, not fair, it's bullshit, but whatever. Okay, got him on I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius. Yeah, hilarious. Yes, Arthur C. Clarke, what a clever little dog. <laughs> okay, um, no, I mean, you can't rip on Arthur C. Clarke too much. He's kind of like the granddaddy, a lot of stuff, but that was a bad joke, you gotta admit. Alright, let's see what's around here. Maybe I will settle there, but this is obviously not possible. I mean, I'm gonna provisionally put attack down here. Provisionally. We'll see how it shakes out. Um, that's awful close. I don't like that. If there's a... Fresh water up there. I might want to go that way. Can you please make this not suck? Still five turns. Look at this shit. But like, there's no way that's faster, right? Like, come on. Let me just, let's do this calculus real quick. This is this is crap because I put a policy in for this. Eighty production base. We have seven here. That's why it takes twelve turns. That's right. It's eighty-four. Okay. So um, let me take this out of the out of the queue. We're gonna put the holy side down. Let me just quickly buy that tox. I think that's gonna be better. I want to keep the food here. Let me set right there. Oh, we got a plus two by the mountain, eh? Oh, I forgot about those bonuses. That's all right. <laughs> I already bought this one. I'm committed. I'm committed, bro. I already get plus two from the hill. It'll be fine. Um. <laughs> I immediately regret my decision. Hey, anyway, what was I saying? Right. So slinger. 35 production at 7 makes 5 turns. Okay. That makes this all jives. It's all jives. It's got 30 production. I should be doing you twice as fast. Is a scout baseline 30? Or is that the accelerated? 30 production. So I should be building you twice as fast. But I'm not. Because that policy doesn't work. Awesome. Alright, fuck you then. I am just gonna build a slinger. Because, like, still five. Okay, that's really annoying. We're gonna do that instead. I'm so disappointed in that. But alright, we'll build a slinger. That policy is pointless. Could have had something else useful. But alright, whatever. Not the end of the world. I mean, I'm, I'm pissed, but. Then we'll queue up a holy set after that, yeah? Where's the queue? That's what we want to see. After that. Getting a settler early. I'm not really slowing down too much. I do forget a little bit because I haven't played six in a while about the intelligent pace of this, whether I should kick out settler even harder, but I think we'll be alright. So, any new luxes here? No. That does look like a good city location on the Isthmus of Rivers. We have some archery boost, one hit irrigation. It's fine. We'll probably do that afterwards because I need probably defenses against barbs soon-ish. Where are you population-wise? Where did you get slotted? That's fine. Let's go. 
Okay, slide on over here. Doodly doo. Doodly doo. Alright, that's fine. I can get an idea of where the fertile ground is. Okay, now until you can mine, you don't know what to do. Go, but yeah, I think if the barbarian comes from the west, I'm gonna need another slinger, so I think it's probably necessary. We do need to hit our holy site, so you know, normally I'd probably go absolutely settler right now, but I'm gonna do something else. Uh wait. So Rachel's gonna help us a lot. We're gonna get production toward holy sites as well. We're almost just on time. We'll get we got what we get money? I guess money that we got? Yeah, I think we got money. We did. Okay. Cool. I suppose. Let's see what's up here. Okay, a lot of land up here still. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Nice to meet you. Sure. Where are you at? Gotcha. Okay. State ritual. Are free. Rituals are more effective means than laws which you order. Arguably. Now it's writing events. Okay, cool. So that's your capital. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be a little tricksy. Spending east is going to get in toward him. So north might be the best way to get a loyalty base before we start pushing out. Um, remember last time loyalty kind of ripped my empire apart. <laughs> or lack thereof, let me say. This doesn't seem like the only decent place for silk. And we probably put another city up here for coffee. Okay, there's a unique Lux, finally. You can almost do this. We're going to change our government policies. Uh, so we can buy settlers. How much can we buy? How much does a settler cost with faith? 160. That's going to be a little bit of time. But that'll help us expand. Um, anyway. I think we're going to do, since this policy is the Terabads. I'm going to change governments, change policies. Thank you. Thank you. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to do it like that. Full religion, baby. Confirm. That's going to be a problem, I think, because he's pretty religiously strong, too, if I'm not mistaken. End of suffering. Likes holy sites and average city population. Alright. Likes to like either of these areas. Well, good. Well, I guess hopefully you're going to like me a lot, and I can murder you slowly. Gradually and gently. This is how a life is taken. Alright. Darkest Dungeon 2 is coming out at some point this year, hopefully. It should be T-dubs. This should be faster now. Yes, please God, tell me these policies work sometimes. Like they should, right? They better. Anyway, we're building a holy site. That's what we're doing. Now we're going to build a settler. We'll queue up the settler. That's the plan. Then we might buy another one, and we'll be able to go crazy. So, yeah, I don't really see too much point going east, because the same luxes exist north. And kind of shift around here. And more coffee. Okay, this is definitely a good spot with double rice within range. Ooh. So good. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're going west. Let's see, we got camels up in here. What's up? Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? The coal miner. Alright. Uh, boom. Knowledge of the wheel. Cool. Uh, now we're going to need to go and get this with irrigation. How irrigating. Nine turns of unhappiness. Like, you guys are so needy. You're just freaking... You're just full of happiness, aren't you? Okay, whatever. What up? We got Khmer music up in here. Mixteco. Oh, God. Oh, please tell me we don't have, like, Monty right there. <laughs> Oh god, please tell me Monty's not right there. He's gonna knock someone over. Pretty hard, bro. Pretty hard. Hold on a second. Uh, that was the wrong button. We met Babylon. Are we the first one? Yes, indeed. Okay. Your bonuses are pretty good, I recall. 
You plus you each great work of writing and relic and artifact. Okay, so that'll be later. Ish. And yours is plus on many in cities with a commercial hub. That's gonna be good. I need to keep Muscat. Muscat! Muscat! Within my uh ambit. A craftsmanship. Could arguably make the mine there and boost craftsmanship a little harder. Then I'll just buy another builder. So it can pretty cheaply. Ish. Why do I have 3.8? Is it because of an happiness penalty? Oh no, I haven't gotten yeah. No, that's from a penalty for sure. Yeah, whatever. You'll be happy again soon, don't worry. My children. It'll all be happy, you'll see. I mean, at this point, craftsmanship is kind of a wasted of a boost. What are we pushing? Your prop points for combat victories. Oh boy, that's a one way to go about it, too, eh? Let me not screw up craftsmanship here, because I think it might be more efficient to go mysticism than craftsmanship in this day workforce. Or, or, we can go foreign trade, be able to build traders. I do like that. I think that might be useful. This gives what policies? Cultural boards expand faster. Yeah, that's going to be all good. Um, yeah, let's put a little couple turns into that. Because I think the most efficient way to do this would be use our last build on the irrigation resource. On our actual Lux. So we're not going to have the... Uh... We can already make... Wait, we can do marble door already, can't we? Quarries. Yeah, there we go. We could just go ahead and do that now. We have the money. The goody huts. Yeah, let's do that. Go up this way. That way we don't have to really wait too long. We can already get the happiness under control. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll get the whole Leventa. Hi. Cool. Political philosophy. Nice. It's a critical one if I recall correctly. Unless this has changed again. We're Okay, we're the first one to meet all of these city states, which is brilliant. Um, yep, this gets us an envoy, gets us, more importantly, a governorship thing, but it doesn't give us new governments, which they changed, obviously, but anyway, so for now, I've a nurse, this has been our first episode of Ethiopia, trying to find its way in the world, see you all next time, let's hope we can keep this, uh, keep this going and not die horribly, till then.